and she had post bone contracture in all her all the five fingers and palm and i am uh, giving the brachial plexus block through inverse calni approach so the approach is a combined approach is low and high inverse calni approach here you can notice the space of burn here which is rutana sirutha beta now you can notice the both head optional like domestoid rakhlo beta put kar lo now you can see the the vein external little vein here just put your finger on the lateral head or the clavicular head of external little domestoid just roll the finger laterally and after the lateral head or the clavicular head of external little domestoid you can feel a a group in between two muscles they are the scanless anticus and scanless medius so we will find a group between the scanless anticus and scanless medius if we roll down the tip of my index finger in this group we can palpate the inferior value of omo height see this is moving now just above the inferior value of omo height insert the needle in between the two scanlini that is the interscanly space and it is quite easy to palpate the space if you move your finger up rather than down from here this cleft is well defined सो so, बेटा एक छोटी सी चीटी काटेगी सो आई है पंक्चर दी स्किन राइट एंड इंजेक्ट हियर आफ्टर एस्परेशन नाउ सिंस दिस इज चाइल्ड एंड आई एम गिविंग दिस ब्लॉग वेन सी इज क्वाइट अवेक Just aspirate and don't inject before aspiration. Go slow from the upper internal space space towards the lower internal space space. And aim is not to touch the brachial plexus nerves, roots, or trunk here. now gently inject aspirate sometime we have to rotate also rotate aspirate and then inject and make sure there should not be any resistance see and this block is basically is is it is painless until unless you are not touching the nerves so i am just ballooning the space that surrounds the brachial plexus that is the brachial plexus sheath so i am planning to give 10 ml in 11 years old child and then apply pressure here in upward direction and massage 